Hi and welcome to another 5 minutes tutorial from Blender Insight and this time about the diffuse roughness that entered Blender 4.3 so this is an alpha of Blender 4.3 but I think they will keep this roughness here in the principle one reason they added diffuse roughness here is because it already exists in the diffuse BSDF and they wanted to have that roughness into this roughness because that roughness and this roughness is not the same. So the base color roughness that is mostly for getting the reflection back from the surface if you have like a glossy surface. So let's say that you're building a mirror or something like that then you know that you put that roughness to zero and you put metallic to one and then it just bounces in a mirror way direction so to say so all the rays goes in one way if you have a higher roughness then the rays are scattered more when they reach the surface so what is then the diffuse roughness that we have here and here well that is when you have a low uh, or high amount of roughness here so let's say that you have concrete or you have sand or something like that then we would like to know how should the light reflect from these low reflective areas so to say and normally you in old versions of 3d software use something called Lambertian and you can see here that it says if you have um, a roughness of zero then it's a perfect Lambertian reflection and what do we mean by Lambertian well we mean that if light hits the surface and it's not a glossy surface then all the rays will spread equally so it doesn't care about that we have a light in this direction for the diffuse material so it just scatters everything exactly the same amount and that makes things like this when we're trying to make concrete uh, look flat because even if I rotate this the only thing I get is the like base shadow into this material so we don't see so much of changes when we do the rotation here however if we take up this roughness then it changes from being this uh, Lambertian into another technique that is called Oren Nayar and that technique takes in consideration where we have the light so if I now rotate you can see it gets much much brighter if I look in this direction compared to if I look in this direction where it's really really dark and that is the main difference between uh, a low roughness and high roughness here so it's more like this high roughness really takes in consideration okay here we have all the light here we have no light at all and if you put it in between then you get a little bit less light from this direction so it is not so noticeable but suddenly when you use this roughness concrete the sand and so on looks more natural it doesn't look so flat anymore because now every little piece of of a uh, surface here takes in consideration how how uh, the light is scattered and in more technical terms you can think of this surface as like small small planes that are placed in like v formations in this uh, surface so like microscopic small planes that are in v formation and then when the light hits then you scatter it in this uh, Lambertian way but since it's now uh, 45 degrees angle for each of these planes you get some difference from this direction compared to this direction and the roughness here then decreases the probability that you will get the reflection back from all those small small planes so that is how you can, can uh, think of it but uh, the main thing to take back here is that diffuse and the principle now have the same roughness and with the roughness of zero you will not take in that this light comes from a specific direction 
when it comes to non-glossy surfaces but with roughness here you can then take in that okay here we have reflection from the light and here it's really dark and it works much much better in uh, things like concrete so hopefully you understand a little bit between the roughness here and the roughness here now and why we have two roughness and that this roughness is equal to this roughness now so i say bye for now and see you later